Five years after his wife's death, a man is charged with killing her by allegedly putting heroin in her cereal. This happened over in Davison near Flint. It was back in 2014. Christina Thompson died. Her death was ruled an accidental overdose. Her friends were shocked and said she never used drugs. After friends and family told police that Jason Harris actually talked about getting rid of his wife and hiring a hitman, police arrested him and then investigated. Harris was in court Tuesday, denied bond. We've now learned that Novi man, Paul Whelan, could not move for four days after being injured in prison. Whelan's brother David tells us this. Paul has been suffering from a hernia and has not received medical attention, even though he needs surgery. We're told prison guards are retaliating against Whelan for going public with his claims of inhumane treatment. Just last week, a Russian judge extended Paul's sentence two more months. Turning to Waterford Township this afternoon, where police are investigating a deadly fire as a homicide. One woman was killed Tuesday at the home on North Lynn Street near West Huron. Police are looking for a man who has been seen at that house before, even as recently as twice last night after the fire. Now, he said to have cut the grass at that house and may cut other people's lawns as well. Police say the man drives an older, rusted, white minivan. The city of Detroit has a big project to upgrade downtown's Spirit Plaza. That's the space at the corner of Woodward and Jefferson. $800,000 will be spent to bring added seating, a stage for performances, new green space, and a playscape for kids. The work is expected to be done by October.